question but how will all of these overnight queues impact our own markets we have our research team joining in with how the trade setup looks like the stocks that are likely to be in the news and of course the fno setup as well first up vivek joins in to get all the market queues we need to watch out for today vivek good morning as a positive handover from wall street the gift nifty also suggesting a gap up what's the setup looking like Good morning and very good handover from Wall Street. Remember, you know, Wall Street actually had a very volatile week last week, but Friday they ended with strong gains, like you mentioned. Uh, along with that, oil prices too, you know, last week were, uh, saw quite a bit of volatility, but they ended largely lower. Today morning, there seems to be a bit of a bounce back. Now, talking about the Indian markets and the strength there is unparalleled, uh, even within the emerging market peers. Uh, Friday was another day where you saw record highs. The Nifty continued to end with gains for eight consecutive weeks and that so, you know, going quite far back when we've seen something like this. Along with that, the broader end of the market gained in tandem with the benchmark indices. Advanced decline ratio very, very strong. Now, key to watch, you know, going forward this particular week, IPO, uh, you know, a lot of IPOs also on the annual. Can the record rally sustain given the fact that it's a very earnings heavy week? Along with that, watch out for the entire cement pack as well today. You know, the ultra tech deal is something uh, that the street will watch out for. Uh, results reaction, quite a lot of results post for market hours on Friday. So ICICI Bank, Dr. Reddy, NTPC, Power Grid, Indigo, all of them will react to results today. Key results today, Bharat Electronics, Colgate, Pomalu, HPCL and Kalpataru projects. Also, you know, given the fact that Asian markets are quite strong and Gift Nifty, like you indicated, gap up opening. So watch out for a positive start at least. It will be important to see whether that can sustain. Important to see whether that will sustain. Thanks a lot, Vivek, for that. Now over to Vamakshi, who would list up the stocks that you need to watch out for. Vamakshi, plenty of earnings reactions today. Good morning. Well, absolutely, Hormas, but let me first start off with Ultratech Cement. Uh, the, the board has approved acquisition of India Cement. So they will be acquiring uh, nearly 32.72% stake from the promoters and its associates uh, at um, almost 390 rupees per share, which would uh, put the deal at almost 3,954 crores. ICICI Bank reported its numbers. It was a mixed set for the company. Advances and deposits grew somewhere around 15%. NII was slightly lower versus estimates, while net profit came in above expectations. NIMS have seen a slight bit of a moderation on a sequential basis to 4.36%. Dr. Reddy's reported a growth of almost 14% in its revenue. Margins are lower on a YOI basis. They stand at 28.2% and it is mainly the US and the India business that is driving the growth for Dr. Reddy's this time around. IDFC First Bank reported NII and net profit lower as compared to CNBC TV 18's poll. GNPA and NPA more or less stable sequentially. Indico reported a 17% jump in its revenue. EBITDA margin came in lower at 26.4% and net profit declined by almost 12%. BHEL uh, could uh, see an uptick today and that is because the company has received an LOI for project worth almost 10,000 crores from the Amodar Valley Corporation. Biocon, uh, US FDA has issued Form 483 with 10 observations at the company's Bengaluru facility. Godavari Power has received CECB's permission to expand its INO pelletization plant from 2.7 MTPA to 4.7 MTPA and lastly let's also focus in on Glenmark Life and that is because CBC CP, uh, G GPCB, that is uh, Gujarat Pollution Control Board, has issued closure notice for the company's Ankleshwar facility. We'll keep an eye out on all of these names. Mamakshi, thanks a lot for that update. And lastly, Sudarshan joins in with cues from the FNO space. Sudarshan, good morning. Eight straight week of gains. What's the setup looking like on the FNO side? Morning, Hormaz. That's correct. And we saw a strong start to the August series. And like at the opening levels on Friday, we saw strong buying. It was well supported by few earnings that we saw on Friday. And even continued buying in both pharma and IT names, names have led market to a record high. And if we go as per GIF Nifty, Nifty is set to cross 25,000 for the first time. So what have FIs have done on Friday? Well, they are buying at these levels, both in the cash market and in the index futures. Also, domestic investors are remain, uh, domestic investors too remain bullish on the market. On Friday, we saw FIs buying shares of more than rupees 2,500 crore and DIs of nearly 2,800 crore in the cash market. And it's the first time in nearly two weeks that both FIs and DIs were buyers in the cash market on the same day. And in the index future, futures, FIs bought shares of more than rupees 4,300 crore and added longs of more than 64,400 contracts and cut short positions by nearly 5,500 contracts. And that takes FIs long positions to 63% with 
total net long contracts of nearly 1.32 lakhs. On the options front, in the call side, we saw positions being added most in stacks of 24,900 and 24,850. And on the put side, major activities were seen in 24,600 and 24,700. So where do we see resistance and support levels for Nifty? Support remains around 24,600, while resistance is now north of 25,000. On the stocks front, we don't have any stocks in the band, but two stocks that I'll focus on the basis of major change in the open interest are Federal Bank and Ashok Leyland. Sudarshan, thanks a lot for that update from the FNO side.